Question number 10, Matt Ducey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, what updates can he provide on the delivery of the government's commitment to provide roading infrastructure to support economic growth? Speaker. The Honourable Simon oh, Bridges. Mr Speaker, there are many good updates, but let me give one in Gisborne. Alongside the Honourable Anne Tolley and Marama Fox, Member of Parliament, it was my pleasure to recently open the first of the government's accelerated regional roading projects, as I say, near Gisborne. The government recognises that the East Coast deserves a reliable and a safe transport network and one that supports local industry, especially the vibrant forestry industry of that region. That's why the government accelerated investment on improvements to State Highway 35. The investment will support economic growth in Gisborne and its region, as well as enabling the forestry sector to thrive while at the same time making it safe for motorists to pass safely. Supplementary question. Order. Supplementary question, Matt Ducey. What other updates can he provide on the delivery of the government's commitment to provide roading infrastructure to support economic growth? Honourable Simon Bridges. Speaker, well, let me give more good news, this time from Canterbury. Recently, I turned the first sod on the final section of the Western Corridor Road of national significance in Christchurch with local members of parliament. The new $122 million Western Belfast bypass will provide better and safer links throughout Greater Christchurch and will help reduce congestion and travel times. And with freight volumes through Christchurch expected to more than double in the next 20 years, the completed Western Corridor will support economic growth by connecting hubs to the west and the south of the city with Christchurch International Airport. Question number 11, the Honourable David Parker. 